So this is a, just a, a quote from uh, Vandana Shiva, who is a, a, a very much a wonderful spokeswoman for the seed sovereignty movement globally. Uh, and she says, seed is created to renew, to multiply, to be shared, and to be spread. Seed is life itself. And uh, clearly, you know, we talked about it this morning for those of you who are here, is that once you step on the seed keeper path, you're going to have more seed than you know what to do with, because seed is always multiplying exponentially. Um, I find that the seed keepers in my life are the most generous and um, kind humans that I know. I think because they hang out with the seeds so much and that they kind of that kind of wears off on them, you know. But what I like to remind people is that prior to 1800 in this country, there were no at all farmers, gardeners, saved, shared, traded, swapped their seeds. So prior to 1800, there were no seed companies in the United States. Um, even the United States government, uh, once they came, when they came through, displaced the indigenous peoples, oftentimes receiving a lot of seed and gifts from the indigenous peoples of this land because their seeds wouldn't grow here, um, created the Un United States government. And up until um, the 1900s, um, the USDA uh, and the United States government had a free seed program. Uh, so seeds at that point were considered part of the public commons. It was something, it was a resource that was um, meant for everybody. It wasn't commodified at that point. Um, and so again, this is a responsibility that we all have. And we talked a little bit about this this morning and I don't like to kind of dwell too much in this doom and gloom, but many of us have come to this room, myself included, because of the grief that we feel over the corporate takeover of our seeds on a global level. You know, many of you have heard about Monsanto or, you know, the corporate uh, takeover of our seed. Um, you can see in this diagram, um, the, the, the red circles, uh, if you can't read them, uh, there are five corporations that own uh, over, or say they own, pretend to own, as we laughed about earlier, pretend to own uh, over 80% of the world's uh, seed supply. Um, and they are not primarily uh, seed companies, they are primarily agric agricultural chemical companies and pharmaceutical companies. Um, and so simply they have bought up all of the little blue dots in this diagram which are all seed companies. And so they, their goal is to regulate and control the distribution of seed to benefit their own products like Roundup and all of these things. Uh, and so we have a duty, um, all of your ancestors at some point within your lineage were seed keepers and at some point along the path in your ancestry your ancestors came into a sacred agreement with plants a long time ago that you were that we were going to take care of the seeds and the seeds were going to take care of us and we we were bound in that reciprocal relationship but many of us by numerous ways of throughout history have been kind of disconnected from that uh, that responsibility right that covenant that we made and so now more than ever, uh, it's urgent that each one of you step back onto that path of being seed keeper because that's the most potent form of activism that we have against this corporate consolidation. This is the easiest, we need to render them completely obsolete. 